into some calls and somebody is screaming, yelling, and I might have to go in and scream and yell at them louder than they're yelling just to kind of get their attention and calm them down. But on other times, it's completely opposite. I go in and I talk quieter to them to try to bring them down. Uh, so it's kind of diff difficult to explain, but it's just every single call is different. I mean, uh, we don't go everywhere to arrest people. Just I, I know that's always out there. So people think they're not going to call the police because they're going to get arrested. Um, that's not the end game. We would rather have a good bond with the community. So we would rather come in and just calm everybody down, find out the problem, and solve it. So. so what are some personality traits that you think would make somebody a very good police officer? Oh, loyal, hardworking, have integrity. Integrity is huge. Because if you can't be trusted, not only by the guys you work with, how can the, the public trust you? Um, you got to have personal courage. Selfless. And you got to have selfless service. So it's just, and that's all stuff I, that was kind of like drilled into me when I was in the military. So it's always stuck with me. Come what on. Are, what are things you think are like, I mean, you mentioned like everybody thinks the police show up and there's going to be an arrest. What are some other like myths that you wish people didn't believe about the police? Myths about the police. Does anyone with the radio copy? Sorry about that. We don't wear this uniform 24 hours a day. So everyone thinks, I've even had some students say it to me that they're like, oh, do you sleep in your uniform? When we go home at the end of the day, this all comes off and I'm not Officer Maloney anymore. And I'm very, actually very good at that. I leave everything at work. I, well, I take it home, but I leave my work at work. I don't come home, I go home and I probably do some of the stuff everybody in here does. So I, that used to be like an old school thing that like when you were a police officer, you're this hard nosed guy, you're doing it 24 hours a day and it's not true. We're, I mean, my son came to school here, like we live normal lives. so. We're good people. I, you know, a lot of people think the cops are bad, and it's we are completely opposite of that. Yes. Well, I, everybody's different. I guess is a good way to put it. So, for especially for Erie County, if you were to work in a city, you some cities you don't need a college degree it's not even you need 60 college credits in order to be able to get hired so if you're somebody that just wants to get that out of the way right away and you have like a path you want to go down in case law enforcement doesn't work out that may be better for you know certain people for me I can tell you I was I'm not gonna say a troublemaker but I just wasn't making good decisions in high school so I just needed something to get me back on track and to me that was the best fit so that was the route I took yes so my son actually just got hired by the NFTA police so <laughs> and that's where my wife also works too so it's a very rewarding job is the if you do it the right way Um, what would be any advice you have for somebody who's trying to, like, figure it out? Um, don't rush. I mean, I took how long to, you know, finally get there? Um, and this is, I kind of said it earlier, but this is something you have to be all in with. Um, we've had a few kids that have actually come through recently that one was actually working on his master's at Hilbert in criminal justice, and he went through the academy he was going through his field training and he resigned. He just said, this isn't for me. So uh, that's another thing I, I'm not going to say I would steer people away from, but I, was all, I wouldn't go to college for criminal justice if I wanted a police or a job in law enforcement. If you were thinking of something along the lines of like FBI and forensics, that's fine. But if you commit yourself to criminal justice, look how long it took me to get from 
you know, being out of college to getting the job. Now, if you have a criminal justice degree and you have to wait 10, 15 years, what are you going to do with that criminal justice degree in that, in that time frame? So it's something you don't need if there's something else you're interested in. You only need the college credits. You don't need an actual degree. So I would definitely say if there's something else you like and you would like to try and you're, you know, waiting, then that's definitely a better option. In your position, do you have an opportunity to work with like newer officers or mentoring like people new to your profession? So I am, besides being an SRL, I'm also a field training officer. So yeah, I, I, I'm, only when I'm working the road, they don't come to the school and walk around with me because then they would find out how awesome it is here. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but on the road, yes, it's, and it's, that's also very rewarding because you get to teach them the correct way to do everything. and. Uh, you know, I have guys now that I train that are going to the school for field training and they call me and thank me for some of the stuff I taught them along the way. All right. Uh, I would say, yeah. Um, and it was different. And I, I don't know if they still do it because when I went in, the cell phones and all that weren't big. So like, Everything was handwritten, so I used to mail letters home. They would mail letters back to me. Um, if you had to make a phone call, it was on a pay phone, if <laughs> anyone knows what that is. <laughs> so, but yes, it was, it was definitely closer with them. Um, I, like I said, I left when I was 17. I enjoyed being very independent, so I didn't want to rely on my parents for much. So I think maybe I asked them to send me money once. But, and that was when I was going to California for like 45 days, so I needed a little bit of extra money. But it's not that I wasn't close to them, I just was, I've always been independent, so. Did you have another one? Okay. All right, any last questions? All right, well, thank you so much, Officer Maloney. Thank you. Wish we had more questions, but. <laughs> Well, if there's if you were too shy to ask in front of any any everybody, you can always come up and obviously he's very findable.